Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor. Welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. In the last episode, we explored the capital of Euclid in the future timeline. And in this episode, we're just going to head to the next area. Before doing that, though, it's been a while since I did skits. I've been forgetting. I knew that was going to happen. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do some skits here. Let me up the volume. And I'll do the skits and then we'll continue. ここが未来の世界か。見たところあまり変わり映えはしないな。でも魔法は使えるみたいだよ。逃げる街。僕の父さんの名前のついた街。おい、どうかしたのか? あ、いや、何でもないよ。アセリア歴4300年。英雄はダウスを追って再び時間を超えた。一度目は辛く険しい旅だった。だが、今は違う。彼の傍らには心を許し合った唯一無二の親友の姿があった。二人の力が合わさったとき、彼らの前に敵は存在しない。そう。たとえそれがダオスであろうとも、あのさ、勝手なナレーションつけるのやめないか。まあ、気にすんなよ。聞
So we have the wind, the valley area here. Uh, I don't know what it's called now in this timeline. We'll go in here and see what's up. This one down old shack look like it's been abandoned longer and I've been living. So I took it. Okay, so I guess in this timeline arcs father probably passed away or something or moved, moved away or something but I imagine since this is like what 50 years in the future he's probably dead so book about fortune telling another one about spirits okay we got a new recipe here must be for gratin Ooh, HP and a small amount of TP as well. Hell yeah. Get it mastered. Oh, it's who are random encounters are around here? And, uh, what is this area called? Seek, uh, something valley. Oh, we have a new enemy, Siren. I need a master light spear, that's why I'm spamming it here. Need to master it as soon as possible. Okay, a good amount of gold. Chester leveled up as well, nice. No wind in this area. Well, a little bit of wind because you could see the grass moving and everything, but. It's not blowing us away, you know. Like when we came here in the other timeline. Alright, we have another new enemy here. Chirpy. What percentage am I at? Okay, 38%. Okay. Okay, they don't give a whole lot at all. So those enemies aren't wor really worth fighting. But the sirens are worth fighting. Let's not go this way yet. Let's explore the outer portion first, and then we'll go in deeper into this area. Oh, they can put you to sleep. It's kind of annoying. Oh, Light Spear only uses 10 TP too. Pretty good ability. Very spammable. It's got some range on it too, which is nice. It's nice that we get another offensive character though, like, oops, I didn't mean to go that way. Another offensive character uh, in Chester. Instead of having like ma all mages, you know. Oh, 
Or what am I at now? 60%? Okay. Mastering it pretty fast here. I want to master it before I get anything new, you know what I mean? So I don't get sw swamp of too many abilities to master. Let's see how much the Gratin restores, by the way. Oh, we got 36. Let's see how much it restores. Okay, it only restores 5 TP. I don't know how much HP it restores. Okay. Let's go out th over this way first, and then we'll go in the cave. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, we'll head on into the caves then, see if there's anything. Probably gonna be new enemies there, I'd imagine. <laughs> the rope's still there. Oh, we have a new enemy, white. Okay, they can paralyze you, just like in Final Fantasy 1. Decent amount of EXP and gold, but not not too much. Okay, we have another new enemy, uh, Dragon Newt. Six six six. Wow. Double numbers. Antidoto. Okay, let's go down now. Where was any demons down here? I like the theme here, by the way. I, th I mentioned that when we were here another timeline as well, but I do like it a lot. Like one of my favorite themes in the game. The boss theme is pretty good too. Oh, we mastered Lightspear. 
So let's go ahead and try out Demon Spear. So it's a mix between Demon Fang and Light Spear. Okay. And it uses 16 TP. Okay, so it's basically two range attacks at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Dead end. We'll try out the other ability too, because there's another one with light spear that we have to use. We got a new enemy as well, Blood Sucker. Uh, we have Lightning Tiger Spear. Which is a mix between Tiger Blade and Light Spear. I gotta buy more magic lenses after this. Okay, I'm going to go back to... I've mastered all the main character's abilities now, so I'm going to go back to Chester. I want to spam his... Uh... As for the main character, I'll just put him on um, Demon Spear, sure. Okay. Um... I want to spam Wild Rain over and over again. Oops. Dang it. I didn't want to cook with him. Oh, he's back up. Kind of, these enemies are kind of good against Jester though, because super fast. I need to uh, equip him with the technical ring, though. The wild don't re wild ring don't re do a whole lot of damage, though. Just to learn the title, sniper. Okay. All right. Let me. Oh, did she gain? She restored TP? How did she restore TP? I guess she restores TP outside of battle. That's cool. Hmm. Because she was down to 100 TP. Now she's at 255. Unless, uh, maybe, I, maybe I restored her TP as well. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Um... We're gonna try Sonic Bash as well. We'll try that one out. Haven't used that one yet. So far there's no chests in this area. Okay. It's kind of a good ability. I gotta, uh, put the technical ring on him, though. So I could do, uh, have him on auto. Or manual, I mean. Give him two warrior symbols. I still like Wild Rain better, so I'm gonna go back to Wild Rain. Cause it's like an AoE. Their attack's an AoE too though. Yeah, she restored TP outside of battle. Cool. <laughs> Just launching arrows at him. Okay, dropping more swords there. Which we need to get appraised eventually. Probably make a pretty good profit off some of those, maybe. Assuming it's not long swords. We'll go down this one now. Our carf died. Shoot. Didn't get a chance to revive him either. They drop swords pretty frequently. I guess if you want to farm swords, you can farm them here. I'm surprised he has no way to revive yet. The only way we can revive is lift life bottles. You think a mage character would already have a revive spell? So maybe there is no way to revive with spells in this game. Okay, this leads back here. I think. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, there's nothing in this area.
I'm interested to see what abilities he gets later as well. I think that Sonic attack is better though. Because a lot of times only one of the... It, this, uh, the Wild Rain is good against enemies if there's a lot of enemies, but... The... Sonic's better against like one enemy. So... I'll just, I guess, stick with the Sonic one. But I... I can't wait to see his other abilities that he gets. Sonic Bass does more damage too. Alright, I'm going to get out of here off screen, and I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we will head to the next area. Pretty cool checking out these areas and the, di the different timeline. I love games like this. I really enjoyed playing Chrono Cross uh, last year. Or, was it? I think it might have been the year before. Whenever the Radical Dreamers Edition came out, I enjoyed playing that game. One of my favorite parts was exploring the different timelines, you know, and see how things have changed, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.